<laughs> oh man, I am a horrible person. What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Yes, the side quest edition where Draven doesn't care about humanity and he is just battling just to be the very best like no one ever was. So in our last episode, yes, we went through quite a few routes. And uh, yes, we are continuing our way to Pacific Log Town because, well, we kind of want to. Yeah. Plus, we, we kind of want to power up our Pokemon just a little bit because, well, things are afoot. A lot of things are afoot, and I don't know why they created this. That is just a complete misuse of a spot. Holy buckets. Yep. So I'm just trying to get my Pokemon better, okay? Five episodes and all that stuff. Make it a little suspenseful for all you guys, even if the, that's probably not a word or something like that. And, well, we're going to be going up against some trainers right here. Look at that. I was just napping on the beach when, before I knew it, I was, I'd was i been swept away. How do you not know that you're, like, swept away? Damn, that's, like, far. Anywho, here we are, taking on Carson with a K. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be coming out with his gold duck right here. So, let's go, Frost. Let's do it. Time to kick some butt and take some names. And, uh... Okay, so... If the weather effects disappear... Yeah, it's not gonna work. So let's just go with a Shadow Ball right here. Anywho... Yeah, we're just trying to test out our good old Pokemon Frostlass right here. Yeah, many of you guys have noticed that like I've been changing up the Pokemon here and there. Just for the benefit of this game, well, you guys got to understand this too. That like right after these events, yeah, you you have an unlimited source of Pokemon, and it's just like it's gonna be hard for me to choose one single team for Hoenn. I mean, I would have loved. I think one thing that they would have they they could have changed in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby was the Groudon and Kyogre events to where you know once you once you complete it. Not all, like, uh, like a whole bunch of Pokemon just start to appear. Literally every Pokemon from every region start appearing. I kind of feel as though maybe they should have just replaced that or, like, prolonged that towards the very end. And, um, and, and, and did, did away with something else. I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is it could be. But I'm kind of figuring, I'm kind of thinking that maybe they should have done something different. Because... Right after, yeah, right after you, you, you get Kyogre or Groudon, you can get whatever Pokemon you want. In fact, Pokedex expands. Literally expands. And, well, it's not like, uh, what was it called? It is not like in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald where you literally have to locate all these Pokemon. It's just, yeah, it, it just becomes that. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? What, what would you guys suggest? For, you know, a replacement. Well, not a replacement, but just like an extra, you know, episode towards a episode in this game. We're in the gameplay itself. What would you guys suggest? I don't know. I'm just thinking. It's kind of like, um, let's see, what game... What game has multiple episodes or multiple side quests and all that stuff? I want to say Pokemon Platinum because... You play Pokemon Platinum, you... A, you get yourself... What was it? Oh, look at that. Frost level 40. In Pokemon Platinum, you defeat Team Team Galactic. I think that's what they are. Go to the Pokemon League. Do a side quest in the next island. But on top of it all, you also have to go hunting for the legendaries. And it's not just one legendary... Not the roaming legendaries either, but just like event Pokemon, and then from there, there's there, there's just like stuff about um, like stuff, long stuff, and more stuff, and all that crud. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, guys. But it, it could have been a little bit different. Probably. I'm not complaining too much about it, but it's 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 still fun. Anywho, uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Leviathan right here, and. See what this person has to say. What a surprise! I didn't expect to see a trainer here out in the sea. I think we should battle. I think we should. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Rodney, and he is coming out with his Crawdon right here. Look at his Pokemon. Now, another thing too, guys. I was actually thinking of using Crawdon on my team at one point. Just because he has both dark and water type capabilities. 
But then, like, you know, I checked the stats and everything, and it's like, you have to have a lot of patience just to raise one of these Pokemon. Plus, look at that. Look how easily we defeated it. Yeah, we defeated it so easily. It was stupid. It was it's stupid, okay? And he is not happy. Or a good payer of money and all that stuff. So, here we are going into Route 131. And, uh, well, we are very, very close to a few important areas right here. One of them being Sky Pillar. And, uh, well, let's see. You know what? Let's go right back to Frost. I would love to use its hail, like its hail ability, just so, like, I, I could raise my evasiveness. But the thing is that, like, yeah, you can't really change that here since, you know, Kyogre's going apeshit crazy and all that stuff. So here we go, taking on a Clam Pearl. And this is the first time we're looking at this Pokemon right here. And Frost Lash. Should, it should be easy. So let's go right ahead and go straight for a Shadow Ball. And that right there does the trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, well, let's see. Kara? Yeah, she doesn't like us right now. She really doesn't like us. Okay, so there's some land right there that I think we should check. And, let's see. Sky Pillar, Pacific Lock Town. Okay. So we're going to keep Sky Pillar for later on because, well, those events don't happen until after everything we've done, like battling and defeating the Elite Four and all that stuff. And, wow. And the funny thing is that, like, this storm is reaching all the way to Pacific Lock Town. Now, um, if you remember in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, yeah, it doesn't reach that far. I don't know why. It's like, one general area. So, let's go right ahead and go with a Shadow Ball here. And here we go. Oh, my God. Seedra is not happy right now. And here comes a Le Bubble Beam. Oh, yes. I did say I was going to bring back some old team members, you know. Torpedo. I, I'm still thinking of you, buddy. Torpedo. That's one of my favorite Pokemon that I, I ever got to, like, transfer over to the next generation. One of my favorite ones. I am, ho like, I'm, I'm expecting to get get it back right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go with a Thunderball right here. And Gyarados. Look at all mean using Intimidate. And, well... Luckily for us, we are in our environment, both water and lightning. Oh, yes. If I had thunder on me, oh, I would be you. I would be spamming the crap out of it. And, well, look at that. Talks to Batman grows to level 44, and Herman has been defeated. Yeah, it's not happy right now. Okay, so let's see. There's probably a few more trainers that we need to battle, like her and that individual up north. Well, I guess this is what we signed up for. And, well, would you look at that? Susie is looking fine AF. And, well, we're going to be taking on a Starmie right here. Yes, this is an easy target. And, well, who is faster, Starmie or Frost? And it looks like Frost is faster. So here we go. For the win. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to definitely try, try a new Pokemon right here. And, well, look at this. Level 41. Frost is getting it, and it's learning Captivate. Let's see what kind of a move this is. So, Captivate is, if any opposing Pokemon is the opposite gender of the user, it is Charmed, which harshly lowers its special attack ability. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do that right now. I'll eventually do it somehow, some way. I don't know. Eventually. And, well, look at that. Gaia grows to level 54, and Susie, not happy with us. Yeah, okay. Let's continue on, and it is a double battle right here. Let's go right ahead and battle both brother and sister. And, well, look at that. They're looking at each other. It's bro and, bro, uh, sis and bro, Rel and Ian. And look at that. Two pretty interesting Pokemon right here. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's do it. You know what? Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, I forgot that I... I forgot that Toxic Batman has Giga Drain and all that, and that right there takes a uh, takes a nice chunk out of a uh, Zoomerol's uh, HP. And well, that is oh wow oh wow wow okay. So one thing I don't like about Frostlass is that it's, it's weak defense. So we're gonna probably we're gonna have to like switch that up. So here we go, Gaia the Fierce Knight, and uh, well let's see. 
We got Magical Leaf. No, Dazzling Gleam does both. And let's go ahead and revive a Pokemon because, yes, we all know how much I like giving experience to every single one of my Pokemon right here. So there we go. And here it is. Dazzling Gleam. Both Pokemon. Say goodbye. Oh, uh, yes. I probably should have started with Gaia right there. Oh, my God. Okay. And... Oh, my God. Okay, so we got more. And Leviathan grows to level 53. Oh, yes. Man, we're kicking some butt some... We're kicking some butt right here. Okay. All right, so... Moving on forward. Here we are in Pacific Law Town. And apparently the storm has not hit this general area. So, we're going to do a quick tour of this whole area right here. So, talk to this guy. Look, look. Isn't it neat? Our houses are on water. I was born here, too. How? And the folks of Pacific Logtown make their living by fishing and diving. True. And if you go right here, you will talk to this lady, and she, nope, is going to be like, six dots open three doors. Grandpa used to say that, but I don't know what exactly it meant. I know what it means. And if you talk to this guy, in the Hoenn region, there are three Pokemon that represent power of rock, ice, and steel. Each is said to hide away a deep in, a deep inside of a cave. That's the story I heard when I was a little kid. Yet I'll say, hmm, maybe I should steer away and uh, do those legendary adventures. What do you guys think? Nah, I'm pretty sure you guys are wanting me to capture Kyogre and all that crud. So let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to these individuals right here. And people say that we. People say they've seen a Pokemon flying high in the sky above Hoenn. Isn't it flying around all the time? Doesn't it need to rest somewhere? Probably. And then, let's see. Where did you come from? That does not make any sense. Okay, so let's see. Talk to this person. A sky Pokemon. A sky Pokemon. And what about this guy? Would you take this from me? I no longer have use for it. And would you look at this? We got ourselves a TM56 fling. And that big stadium over in the Unova region. I always dreamed of standing on the mound there. But no matter how much I hoped and struggled, my abilities couldn't keep up with my ambitions. My dream wouldn't die, but uh, before I knew it, I was a family man in my 50s. Not just for me, but my f for my family too. It's time for me to wake up from my dream. Well, not really. I mean, you could do, you could do anything regardless of whatever age you are in. I mean, I get, the, I get that, you know, if you want to be young, you want to accomplish everything, but it's never too late to do a lot of things here. So, let's see. Talk to this guy. <clears throat> Let me to introduce myself. The Pokemon fan club's most important person, the chairman, is my older brother. I'm here enjoying my vacation with Pokemon. Yes, indeed. Ah, your Pokemon. Hmm. It's not bad, but it's not good. You, as a trainer, need to put some effort into it. Okay, so that's not cool, man, because I just got this Pokemon. So, let's go with Tommy JDF. And talk to this guy again. Yes, we already know. You're the older brother. Da, da 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 And yes, it is friendly towards us. And that will give us the TM27 return, which is a very powerful move depending on the person's uh, or a Pokemon's uh, friendship towards you. Since I maxed out my Pokemon's friendship, that right there is a special move. Now, if we go right here... Talk to this lady. She's going to be like, the sea between Pacific Logtown and Slateport has a swift running current. If you try to surf there, you might end up swept away somewhere else. Huh. That is true. And, well, if you go right here. Talk to this. Oh, not this Pokemon magazine. Let's talk to her. Is that a Pokedex? Did you, get, did you get to meet a lot of different Pokemon? I wish I was like you. No, you don't. You really don't. I'm a horrible person. Anywho, this person right here is going to be like, uh, I need a trade. Living in Pacific Log Town, I can only watch certain Pokemon. Do you have a Blossom? I will trade you a Horse Love for it. Unfortunately, I don't have a Blossom. I probably wouldn't want to trade a Blossom because, yeah, you only get so many stones around here. And, well, let's see. If you go right here, talk to this guy. I've been to the Mirage Spot. I'm not sure of it, but I forgot where it is. I used to be very good at it remembering things. I'm so shocked that I can't remember. And because of that, we get ourselves a TMO3 Psy Shock, a very good psychic type move. And, uh, well, the Mirage, the Mirage Spots, it must be the weather conditions that seem to make them visible at some times and some not others. Or are they truly appearing or disappearing? Now, if you guys remember back in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, 
it was a uh, there was a there was a spot called the Mirage spot. Okay. Me personally, I've never, ever, ever, ever been to the Mirage spot. I've uh, I've heard that it's not really that great because you can only capture why nots there. But it all depended on this guy looking at the mirror or at the window. He's gonna be like, they say here in Hoenn there are places called Mirage spots. One does not simply walk into a mirage spot, not to mention that uh, these places are also appear and disappear mysteriously. Now, in in this generation right here, the mirage spots all depend on the internet, like, you know, your Wi-Fi and how you update it and all that stuff. And, you know, from day to day, like every day, it switches up uh, the mirage spot. So you, it, there's going to be a wide array of places where you can actually find. So... That right there is pretty much it, guys, for this episode. I could go into, you know, the sealed chamber and all that stuff, but I do not have the Pokemon required for it. So we're going to save that until after the whole Kyogre thing. So, yes, we're going to be going into the episode, the one that you guys have been waiting for for a long, long time. We're going to be going up against Kyogre, so you do not want to miss this next episode. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive, as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.